Sean in Rancho, California writes, Paul has recorded music already gone through a D to A conversion and op amps during the mixing and mastering process. How are distortion artifacts kept out of the recording? Well, it really depends on the recording process. <laughs> First off, in a, well, let's take a, oh boy, how can, how can I, because there's so many ways to go about this. It, the, as you probably know, the D to A is once you make a digital recording, you need a digital to analog converter to put it back to something we can hear. So let's imagine that you have a digital recorder. You've got a microphone and a microphone preamplifier. It's going to go into an A to D converter first. That changes it into a computer language that then the computer memorizes on the hard drive. In order for you to hear that, we're going to have to go through a D to A converter. But in its cleanest form, those that output, that analog output from the D to A converter doesn't have to be part of the mixing chain or the mastering chain. So in that instance, microphone, microphone preamplifier, A to D converter into a computer, even though you're listening through a D to A converter and making decisions about mixing and mastering, you're not actually doing anything in the analog domain, it's not going through a D to A converter, and it's not going through an op amp. It is purely digital. You're making the changes digitally, and at the end of the day, you wind up with a pure digital file that has been mixed and mastered without any D to A or the uh, you know vagaries of op amps. And that's essentially what we do at Octave Records. We keep it all inside the box, if you will. Okay, we never do a conversion outside the box. We record everything in DSD-256. We monitor it through D-to-A converters, but that's only a monitoring process. And the only irregularities there is that if the D-to-A converters aren't near perfect, you're making decisions for sound quality, for mixing and whatnot, based on what you're hearing. Now, I will say in defense of Octave Records, we almost never use compression, EQ. It's just volume up, volume down. It's all pure. So it doesn't really matter if the DDA converter is changing something because all I'm doing is turning the volume up and down for the mix, panning, turning the volume up and down. So it's pure and it stays in the box all the way up to the point where you wind up getting it on an SACD. That's the purest form there can be if you're doing any kind of digital recording. Now, we're, we're kind of rare in the way that we do it. Many high-end places go through a conversion process. They record it digitally, it then goes into a D to A converter, op amps, the whole bit, and it's mixed in analog, then reconverted back through an A to D converter to digital. We used to do it that way when Octave Records first started. That's how we did it. That's how a number of audiophile labels do it. I don't particularly like that. I, I disagree with that. I think to my ears, the way we do it is the best. Okay, all that said, not to make this too long-winded. The majority of studios today, modern studios, Abbey Road studios, you know, big, big, uh, big studios, do it the way I first talked about. A to D converter goes into digital. Everything is done maybe in Pro Tools. It all stays digital right up to the very end. So that's the common way that it's done today. So. Anyway, long-winded answer, I apologize for that, and hope that helps.